Hey YT, it's your girl Naya0302 and I'm coming to you today from Naya's World where beauty is made simple. Um, this video is going to be a, a request video from one of my subscribers. Miss D Mills 5 wanted to know how did I come about making my L'Oreal Hip Duo um, eyeshadow palettes. And basically, I used a DVD holder, uh, an old DVD holder. And as you can see, this is the way the back of a DVD case actually looks. When you open it, normally your DVD would fit right inside of here. Well, I took a uh, piece of construction paper and I kind of covered that area up so that you don't see that in that little circle indentation and this is where I put my label for which shadows I have and then I use the opposite side to place all the shadows I pretty much glued all mines down with super glue but you can use magnets if you put a magnetic sheet right here I have this one here that I had my son apply heat to it and remove the label for me because like I said I still can't really use the left hand but I am going to show you how you would basically do it yourself you have two openings you have this first lid which shows you the color so if you pop it open there is your colors right there and then when you flip it over you have another lid on the bottom where inside of here would be your little two-sided applicator some of them actually even have a little mirror on the back of here well in order to depot them you must open both of those ends so much to the point that you create like a clamshell like such you would then apply heat to this inner side here which I've had my son do for me already and you want to apply heat in a circular motion like that so that you will start to get like a burnt plasticky smell and usually it takes about five to ten seconds and if you notice it creates a little gap in different spots you will need an exacto knife well in his case he left me with a paring knife so I am going to attempt to pop these out and show you uh, how to without nicking them up uh, how to get them out of there so I'm going to stick this paring knife down in the side where it is a little bit raised and it looks like that and then I'm going to lift this one side out so there is one side of the shadow there and then excuse that it's probably him asking did I chop my finger off yet and then this is going to be the other side and I will get it out and so there is the other side raised up and now I will pull it out so there is the other side so basically now I have depotted the actual eyeshadow out of here he also took the bottom half and he held it like this and you take your candle or your lighter and you swirl this around that heat and what it will do is create a slight bubble in the label in which you can peel the label off so here is the label to this one this is in mystical and you can save these to label your palettes or you can choose to make your own um, label yourself but once you have them out of the case 
you can throw these guys away because like I said they take up quite a bit of space and then when you are done you can take some rubbing alcohol if there's still too much glue on the back if you plan on applying a magnet but that is what it would look like once it is depotted minus the nick right there of me trying to get it out you want to be very careful so that you don't destroy them totally getting them out it is kinda said that they would fit um, Stila palettes um, makeup forever they are too big to go into a MAC palette so you definitely would have to find something either a DVD case like I did when I couldn't or didn't think I could afford to be buying other size palettes um, but if you have a makeup forever or a Stila palette you can once you get them depotted you can put them in well I'm since I have one empty spot here in my Stila palette that already has a magnet I'm going to see if they actually fit inside of there and I can tell you already that they are bigger than my Stila eyeshadows but I will show you just for general purposes that see this one would not fit in this particular type of palette so I would have to have a bigger type of palette and I think you can find those types on eBay uh, for probably no more than five or six dollars so D Mills I hope that that helped you understand how I depotted these or my son helped me with this one today but that's how you get your shadows out enjoy depotting your L'Oreal hip duos have fun with it come up with all types of creative ways to create your own palette and once you do please send me a response video so I can see what ideas you guys come up with okay guys talk to you later bye